Hello YouTube viewers, I'm here to go over the f uh, first 16 levels of Extreme Missile Defense Extreme 3D. We're going to start with level 1. You will need one can of laser near the base so that you can shoot the lone sniper. The sniper is going to be a real pain in the <laughs> next levels, but by himself he's really not a threat. So just kill him and level complete. A common mistake people make is to upgrade their cans of laser turret. You want to buy another turret instead because then you will be able to shoot more of the foes at once instead of just relying on one defender. On level 2, the sniper is going to be accompanied by a Dexless Runner. What? That's the name of the monster. I didn't make the game. And you're actually going to find a weapon if you kill the sniper before. And you're actually going to find a weapon if the Dexless Runner is leaked. No, wait. I think you yeah, were supposed to leak the sniper in order to get the weapon. Sorry, I guess I'll restart. Okay, cane up laser, kill that sniper. There. Now. There we go. Now, we just need to kill that Dexless runner and leak the sniper. Fortunately, the turret isn't automated, so. The sniper should actually survive. You'll lose a life, but you'll immediately get another weapon. The bi of laser. This is like the candid beam, except it shoots out two at a time. Now, upgrade one of your turrets to the bi of laser. This will give you twice the attack speed, and go ahead and make it into an auto turret. On level 3 you will run into 5 snipers and 3 dexless runners. I know it's kinda ridiculous but with your new bi of laser it should be no problem at all. So just have the bi of laser, own the dexless runners and then focus all of your power on the snipers. It should be no problem at all with the Dexedless Runners being mowed down by the bi of laser. Now, get another can of beam uh, turret and make it an auto turret. Upgrade it to bi of if you have the money, which you might not have since the cash values from Dexless runners are really randomized between five and fifty dollars. If you have at least two hundred dollars at this point, then just go ahead and get two by Canon lasers automated. And on level four you're going to run into... Crap, I forgot the name of this foe, but he has plenty of hit points. You will have to focus all of your power on it. Fortunately, he is soloing you, so you should actually be able to own him. I'll just call him the Darkenard, since he's all black and such. Alright, on level 5, the Darkenard is going to be accompanied by uh, 
by two dexless runners. So you're going to need your bican of laser to you'll need one bican of laser to deal with actually have your bican of lasers go after the dark and art and you deal with the dexless runners. You Oh crap, I forgot to tell you to upgrade your uh, can of laser uh, after uh, level 4. So, anyways, with the Dark Nard and two dexless runners dead, you should have enough money to buy a new weapon. The Pulse. On the Pulse bomb. This does an area damage. This basically does a fixed amount of damage across an area. This would be good for eliminating large amounts of dexless runners in one fell swoop. And you're going to need it since dexless runners will be zerg rushing you in later levels. So just just kill the dexless runners using the pulse bomb and have everything else go after the other foes. Level 7, you're going to face Darkenard, 3 snipers, and 5 dexless runners. This game quickly gets difficult, so you need to actually be able to catch up and um, level 8 what the? Is that a bike thief? Those aren't supposed to come until later levels. Oh well. Just deal with it. It has low hit points, but is really fast, and when it comes out of group, you might want to use the pulse bomb to get rid of it. Anyways, you're going to need the Sword of Camelon for this next level, which is actually an item drop from one of the monsters. If you get the Sword of Camelon, then not only will a turret fire a gun at whatever you turn and choose, but it will attack uh, anything you target with a sword. Actually, you'll melee anything next to it with a sword automatically. It's a very good upgrade, and it's the only thing that can defeat the Gamelonian um, Quasar. The Gamelonian Quasar Demon. You're going to be running into more of these later on, but for now he's just alone. No, wait. The sniper before he drops it. So just own the sniper and then pick up the sword of Gamelon. You will need it. That was level 9, so on level A, you will want to. Crap, I forgot the one was. Oh, right.